So we are halfway through 2025 already. Uh, June is done and dusted, six months have gone. The sun's out, we're in a bit of a heat wave still. Uh, and interestingly, during June 2025, 25% of all new cars in the UK were electric. So good demand there for new cars being electric. And that's a really positive sign. Of course, we want them to be more new cars being electric. We are seeing the effects of climate change here in the UK. Texas, of course, has in, been in terrible trouble with flooding recently. And it seems that every day we are seeing effects of climate change. So it would be good if we can make the proportion of new cars on the road electric and not be buying three litre diesel Range Rovers and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't need to happen. But I'm here to talk to you about used electric cars. It's what we do. We sell used electric vehicles, a lot of testers, of course, dominant in the used car market. Uh, but you know, other stuff, look at that cool little Renault 5 down there, not long out. So if you want to see more about Renault 5, there'll be more videos coming soon. Stay subscribed. And in a minute, I'm going to show you some data from Autotrader Marketplace. So Autotrader is the biggest platform for used vehicles in the UK. And I'll show you their data. I'll talk to you first about how we've been, but I will show you their data. Nothing I uh, am involved with. I don't know what the numbers are yet, so we'll find out in a minute and I will screen record it live. That is data that any dealer can see. So if you read headlines in the papers about nobody wants used electric vehicles uh, or anything like that, well, I think you'll probably find in a minute it's different to that. I don't actually know yet. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Uh, but for us, at least, demand has been very good. This year's been good so far. The last three months have been very, very busy. Again, lots of Model 3s, lots of Model Ys, other cars. But personally, we've been busy. A couple of interesting things I'll just cover before we go into all the trader stuff. One, uh, Tesla Model Ys, more and more of them around now, obviously coming off of the lease companies at three years old, plus the new Juniper is out. So there are more on the used market. So now, as I speak, anything from £20,000 upwards gets you nice, tidy Tesla Model Ys, fantastic family vehicles. And of course, we are seeing, you know, especially as used car dealers, seeing people coming from, you know, maybe things like Nissan Qashqai's, and now the, the Teslas and electric cars are more affordable. Obviously, you know, things like Hyundai Ionic 5s and Kiwi 6s, and that, they're all more affordable. And so some really good, long-range, very practical, brilliant family uh, electric cars out there. And of course, Tesla with the Model Y dominates that and great value in the used market. And uh, we have loads, we've got out the back, down the side, along number one, two, three, four, five, along this row alone. So um, yeah, great cars. What has been interesting is Model 3s. Now some Model 3s have gone up in price recently, uh, specifically to buy them in the trade, but also the retail side has actually gone up a little bit as well. So the ones that are affected by this, really the 2022 Model 3s, long range, 30 odd thousand miles, you know, nice three-year-old car. Nice mileage, especially if it's in good condition. I've been quite hard for us to get even, you know, we're looking at various trade sources and leasing companies and such like, and the prices have been going super high. You know, you get guide pricing in auctions and actually testers especially, and, but all cars and auctions, you know, one week the prices are lower than the guide prices and the higher, it's always a bit of a yo-yo. Testers always have been probably the one of the worst for that, you know, really bouncing around. At the moment, uh, you have to pay really good money. And I'm talking like a couple of thousand pounds over the guide price just to buy one for auction. In fact, just to kind of prove a point, just a couple of days ago, I bought one, uh, paid about 2,000 pounds more than I normally would have done for it. Is there still any money left in it? Well, we're going to find out. That's a separate video, so make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. But that's what it took to buy that car. And somebody else is willing to pay 50 pounds less than me. I've just been intrigued as to, is there still money in that? I wouldn't normally touch it, but... You know, at the end of the day, there's obviously big demand for that sort of car. So on the retail side, any of those that we get have been selling very quickly. And so the prices of those have been going up recently. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that's interesting that they actually 2022 Model 3 long ranges, especially uh, standard ranges as well, actually. But, you know, they, they've gone up in value a little bit over the last six weeks, so I'd say. And it doesn't seem that long ago, you know, I was doing an interview with uh, Car Dealer Magazine and, and speaking to others about... You know, some dealers not wanting to even stock used Teslas. Oh, nobody likes Elon Musk. We won't stock them. We can't sell them. And I did. I remember doing those interviews at the time going, um, yeah, we're, we're fine. We're busy. <laughs> you know, we've got good demand. But if you don't want to stock them, I don't, don't care to me. However, what is evident is obviously dealers are definitely buying and they're bidding strong and want these cars. And that will be because they are selling. So in my mind, demand is good. Anyway, uh, I'm just recovering from a bad back uh, this week. It's good to be up about again. 
So I'm gonna go sit down, I'm gonna go onto Auto Trader Portal and share that screen. Look at this cool car, by the way. It's just so many cool little details about it. Anyway, more of that to come. I'm gonna share my Auto Trader Portal, something any dealer can look at, and that'll be a real proper insight into you know, looking at demand and such like. So I'm gonna go upstairs to the office and go to a screen recording and go through it with you. So just trying to buy cars now. <laughs> Are these two auctions on the go. Two auctions on the go. So are Model 3's going over the guide price or under the guide price? Let's talk Model 3's. Are going over? Uh, yes. Over. over yeah. yeah, it's just an amazing reason, isn't it? Yeah. Model Y's are kind of there and there about the guide price. Maybe it's a tad under, yeah? Yeah, still. Yeah, just a bit under the, the cap. <laughs> including this one just going up. So the guy cap paying 24,650 is going through at 24,8. Plus the fees, remember, with any yeah. auction. This is a Model 3 long range, guide price 19.1, cap clean, 19. Oh, so that one went through about at, at guide price. So they've been over, so that's, that was interesting, that went down. Although we're not, we're now in the later half of the week, which always makes them actually a little yeah. bit cheaper, doesn't it? At the beginning of the week, everyone's buying them to restock after weekend, so. Okay, so here we are on the background portal for uh, Auto Trader Marketplace. So I'm gonna share this information, I'll talk you through it. Let's just start off here. Um, I'm looking at the last six months, the last 26 weeks, and it will compare data from now to the six months, the same period the previous year. In the middle here, market health, electric, down 11% or minus 11%, but that's not quite what it seems. Let me drill into this, let me explain it. So market health is a balance between supply and demand. What we're interested in here is demand. Are people interested in EVs? And look at this, so this is six months, demand plus 30% over the previous year, the same six month period the previous year. The difference here though, the reason the initial number looks low is because supply is also up. Oh look, see there's a bit of a drop in supply there, maybe that's where I was saying about the Model 3s perhaps. Um, but supply is up, demand is up, but therefore the, what they call the market health initially looks like a bad number, minus 11%. But the key thing is here, look, Demand is plus 30%. I can change the period a little bit, actually. Let me just go for the last sort of, three months, for example. And we can compare there also 30%. So again, let's go back to the six months of this year so that we capture that data. Now we're halfway through. And if we now clear that and go to diesel, for example, everyone wants diesel, surely. The, that initially, market health plus 2%. See, that looks good, doesn't it? If you look at the sort of shallow, superficial number there. However, let's see, I might be wrong, yeah. So here we are, look, demand minus 11%. And then look at that tracking curve. It was going down this year, but look at the dotted line, which last year, it was going down last year. And on average, it's down 11% from the same period last year. So demand for used diesel cars is, as you can see, going down. Uh, supply has kind of changed a little bit here, it's down and it's up a bit and down. And overall you get this market health of plus 2%, but you can see there it's not about demand. Demand for used diesels is falling quite consistently. This year's tracking last year very evenly actually, look at that. So, uh, and this, so before we leave this part of the screen and drill down to perhaps some testers in more specific detail, considering that's a large part of our stock, let's have a look at the petrol cars. Minus 2% market health. Uh, so you can see that's been down and coming back up again. But again, let's scroll right down to demand. So 2% down. So the petrols aren't too bad, although you can see again a general downward curve over the last six months. Um, so it's gradually waning, but not too bad. But supply again has been up and down a little bit, but not dissimilar to last year. And that's why market health there looks, looks reasonable, to be honest. Uh, right, let's clear this and let's go back to electric cars in a bit more detail. I won't go about this for hours because it just becomes a long video. And again, any dealer watching this, can, you can look at the same information as me here. Um, I'm a bit late filming this. I'm the, into the first week of July now. Um, I was off with a bad back and laid up. I'm gradually recovering now. They're good to lay back in this chair. So, um, all right, demand for EVs up, as we saw. Let's just scroll down this list here to the different manufacturers. And interesting to see that the market health, of the up to one year cars is plus 12% and the others are down. So the thing is that for a lot of people buying electric cars, it makes sense to buy a new one because of the tax incentives. And that's why there's not as much of a market for needing new cars as there are with other fuel types because of the tax incentives to buy a new one when it's electric. That's why you get a big initial depreciation, which means anyone buy privately gets a great bargains for needing new cars. 
Well, I want to drill down to Tesla. I'm not going to go into even manufacturer because this would be a very long video, but Tesla are the sort of staple diet of the marketplace. Um, there's lots of them, obviously very good cars and um, very popular with fleet buyers and people do mileage as well. So their market health specifically um, is minus 37%, but I'm going to scroll down. I'd see demand plus 15%. In fact, look, up here, and this could be, again, what I was... My feeling was recently, especially with the Model 3s in particular, seems to be strong. I will drill down to Model 3s. This is all Tesla. Supply is up, though, big time, plus 84%, but demand is up. So, again, the data, you know, um, is demand low because of people not like Elon Musk or anything? Nope, not at all. Let's go to Model 3. Now, what I'm expecting here is a, quite a big demand spike and a drop in supply in recent weeks. Um, well, a little bit, but only more recently it's showing here. And in fact, otherwise it is fairly steady. Plus 17% in general for the last six months compared to the previous year. Stronger here in kind of March time. Then actually not as much of a spike as I was expecting, to be honest, for the last few weeks. I was expecting since about mid-May here to be going up a little bit more, but nonetheless, good demand. But this could be more reflective here is that supply of the Model 3 has been dropping. And that's where I'm saying there's just not as many around um, if you're talking the 2022 cars as there was before. Um, well, there is more, but you can see how the general stock levels have been dropping recently. And that's probably why the prices have been going up more. Um, so some interesting numbers there, but although not quite as exaggerated as I was expecting based on our experience here. But again, this is why we look at the independent data. Let's go to Model Y. We don't really get many you know, Model S's and X's now. They're just getting a little bit old for what we tend to stock here now. Uh, so demand Model Y, look, plus 75%. Yeah, and who can blame it? Yeah, very popular and popular in recent times, which is why we're good. We're selling them. But supply is also up, as I was saying, actually. Yes, there's a lot more around. 208% up <laughs> in supply compared to the previous year. But strong demand is carrying them forward. Again, if someone looks at the overall market health, you can see this downward curve, minus 39%. But it's not really representative. The demand is plus 75%. So... Um, as we're seeing there, is demand for used testers good? Uh, yes, very good indeed. But lots of supply, lots of cheers from so competitive market. Um, okay, so I won't go for too long here, but I will just scroll through here some different manufacturers from Market Health initially and see where we're at with some. Um, so let's pick out the kind of extremes of it. BYD, minus 63% Market Health. I've not had a BYD here yet. A bit worried about how easy they are to sell on the used market. No, interesting. Look at this. Demand plus 539%. Well, probably because there was barely any BYD on the used market a year ago. Uh, supply plus 1,604%. But I think because they're reasonably low numbers, it's a distorted figure. So I wouldn't really take this as particularly valid data, to be honest. Um, Let's have a look through here. What else have we got? Who are some of the big players you might want to see some figures for? Um, so you used electric Lexus. I don't think are very popular, but let's have a look. Their market health looks good. So let's drill into this. Um, demand up, uh, supply up. Do you know what? I've actually not had a used electric Lexus like a UX. I so don't get particularly good reviews. So again, I'm a bit reluctant to sort of spend money on them in case I can't sell them. And we're Tesla specialists, really, at the end of the day. That's what we know and mainly do. Been a Tesla owner since 2015, so we know them well. Uh, Polestar, uh, pretty decent. Their market health looks poor, minus 41%. Um, but yeah, look, again, demand plus 45%. Again, going down a little bit, but tracking last year actually quite evenly there. Supply, though, up. Um, but there's some good bargain Polestars out there. Uh, so they tend to sell well. And well, before we wrap this up, let's have a quick scroll through. Who else have we got here? Let's see Volkswagen. Plenty of them out there now. ID3s, ID4s. I'm currently driving ID Buzz. I love it. That's great. Uh, so market health, look, plus 14%. Looking good for VW. Demand, plus 28%. So that's tracking well. Supply, plus 13%. So used electric VW, looking good. Certainly some good value ID3s, ID4s. Uh, uh, loads out there. I see... Fleets of them coming off of taxi companies now. And although they've got a bit of mileage, very good value, used family cars. Um, one thing I was just thinking of before I go from here, yeah, you can see here, look, ID5 even, plus 91% market health. That's the kind of coupe version of ID4. Um, I found them a little bit tough, tough to sell myself, but um, actually, yeah, look, it says demand down, but supply is also down, hence you get a good market health. And that's why market health is a bit of a superficial number. 
Uh, so, there we go. Um, generally though, of course, the important thing to look at is and finish off on last six months in the UK for the used car industry, electric cars, are they in demand? Yes, plus 30% compared to the year before. So I think I'll wrap it up there for this video. I normally cover a little bit about our solar, which of course, given our recent amazing sunny everyday weather, like we're in a different country, has been amazing. In fact, I think we are now quite close to the point where the money we've saved is equal to the money we spent installed in the system. Bearing in mind, we are still under three years from that date. So the investment for the install, I think, added to the value of the building initially anyway. But, um, and therefore wasn't really a cost. But nonetheless, a lot of people say, well, how long is it going to take to recoup my investment? If we look at it in that sense, I think we're not too far from it. So there'll probably be a separate video about solar coming up now. I just wanted to cover that about the used car market. Uh, so that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, before I go, I will just say sorry to all those I missed at the Tesla supercharged event. That was the day after I really quite badly hurt my back. I had a bulged disc and I really was laid up in bed for a week. Um, sorry I wasn't there to make it, but um, you know, big hello now. Hopefully I will see you all at another event another day or of course come and see us if you're ever on the south coast. I know a lot of you did get to see our car Model 3 miles with 226,000 miles on the clock. Of course, good condition, eh? And that goes to show how well electric cars can travel long distances with very little maintenance indeed. Not just a Tesla, I suspect, but many an electric car. So that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video very soon.